Welcome to Lazy Wild Adventures. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Justin, and today we're going to be doing an install on a, of a receiver hitch on the back of a Ram ProMaster. Please uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that thumbs up button. Be sure to hit the notification so you know each time there's a new upload. You can also follow along with me on Instagram at Lazy Wild Adventures. I'll see y'all there. Let's get to work. So let's get started. We got to get our tools together first. So for this, we're going to need, it says a ratchet, but we're going to be using a impact in place of the ratchet. Uh, we'll also need a torque wrench that will go up to 110 pounds. We'll need it at 110 pounds and 48 foot pounds. You will also need a 15 millimeter socket, a 16 millimeter socket, a three quarter inch socket, and a T30 Torx head. I'm also going to bring along uh, a short extension, crow's foot in case we get in a tight spot, and of course our adapter for our impact. And we can't forget the safety glasses. So now that we got our tools together, let's get started getting this thing apart. First things first, we have the Torx that we need to remove from the bumper. There's gonna be four here on top and four here on the bottom. There's one, there's two, three, four on top, on the bottom, and then, and it's the same on both sides. If you're equipped with sonar, you're also going to have to detach those, and we'll do that in just a second. So your sonar will just connect by just this one little connection, and all you're going to need to do with it, sorry guys, I'm trying to do this with one hand. So to release it, just lift the tab and give it a little wiggle, All right. and that's it. So I'm gonna make sure that's disconnected, and we'll just set this to the side for now. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is be taking off all of this stuff. Then we'll drop the bumper assembly so then we'll, we'll take that off and then we'll attach the new assembly and put it back on. It's actually going to fit behind uh, this here. So you're going to, some hardware you're going to reuse, but we'll see as we go. We're going to grab our 16 millimeter socket and remove these four bolts. Now I had to get a ratchet and break them free first. And I've just got a 90 attached to my impact just for quick and easy so we can get these out of here. And since we don't have two more hands, we're gonna use our bucket to help support us here so we don't just let it drop. And okay, so we got the four bolts out on top and you also have one more on the bottom there and that's your 15 millimeter and get the one on the other side off and we'll start the assembly on the receiver hitch Set this down, we'll grab our receiver assembly and we'll get started attaching. Okay, the next step is to get your half inch carriage bolts and the spacer and they include a fish for you. So 
you're just going to unwind this and pass it through the large square holes in the front of your bumper assembly and it'll pass through and pop out on the hole on the back side and that will in turn uh, fish through the top of your new assembly I believe. So let's get those fished through and then we'll move on to the next step. So we got this one fished through and we're just going to thread the bolt onto the end here. Like so. Alright, now let's get the other side. So, you see me about to put that on there. It seems like it's a lot easier to just fish it through first. Now I did this off camera to see if I could do it pretty easy and it went through the first time. We'll put the other bolt on the opposite side. Now we're going to just use these to pull our carriage bolts through this outside hole in the back of our bumper. So you just tuck all this in. Alright, there's one. And it's a little finagling going through the hole, if that's a real word. Just kind of got to see how it'll sit in there. But it pulls through super easy. So I'm going to leave those attached for right now, just in case we lose them. We just fished that wire through our bumper assembly. So now we're going to take this and set this on top and we're, our bolts will pass through these holes here. And then we're just going to put the half inch nut on the back. And we're just going to do this loose for right now until we get it up and make sure we're in the right position. So when you're doing this on your on your receiver assembly, your bolts that go through the back, the bolts that you remove from the back side, will actually sit in here and kind of help you secure a little bit. And this thing doesn't weigh much. It's just a little cumbersome, that's all. All right, so we're gonna finish pulling this guy through. And you want to kind of get this bolt in a, in a little bit of tension there so you're not losing it. Just kind of let it rest against the bumper until you get your nut started. Alright, and then we'll just, like we say, hand tighten that. Alright, we'll get this one back through. Alright. And guys, this is very straightforward. So pretty much, you pull it off. You remove the six bolts and torch you need to pull it off. And then you'll fish through here, attach these two bolts that we just attached. And pretty much, you're just gonna set it back up onto the van, exactly how you took it off. And they do give you, you remove these, and they send you these. So they're about the same size, but these have a little bit more thread on them. So you'll replace these uh, top four of your original hardware, and their bottom will replace with the same uh, bolt you've removed. So I'm going to get my bucket friend here, get this set up, and we'll start getting it bolted back on the pan. So I'm going to give this a good old college try. So, it did burn a little weight, but it's not too bad. This is important to know. These new bolts are actually a 13 millimeter. So we need to add that to the parts needed list. So I'm just going through and putting the new hardware in. And put the bolt on the back side. All 
All right, now all I'm doing is going back and replacing bolts from the back we took off earlier. Ouch. You might want to find a place to do this where there's not so many rocks. Be a little bit more comfortable on you. All right, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, obviously. We're gonna grab our torque wrench. Half inch hardware is going to be at 110 pounds and our 10 millimeter hardware will be at 48 foot pounds. Our two half inch bolts are here and then looks like everything else will be at 48 pounds. Okay, so here's where that crow's foot comes in. So obviously you'll set your torque to 110 pounds. And for the rest of them, we'll put the 48 foot pounds on. That's about it. So now we're going to <clears throat> reattach our sonar, which is a simple clip, as we remember from earlier. I'm just going to slide this back over into place. It does create a little bit of space here, but you're, these are plenty long enough, so you should have no problems. We'll see if I, what I just said is true. All right guys, I hope this helped you out. Pretty straightforward. Um, I don't see the sense in paying somebody the 100 bucks to put it on when I can do that myself. Probably take you about 30 minutes once you get everything together. So uh, I'll let you go for today, but please uh, like, subscribe, give me a comment. Uh, if you're not already, please consider becoming a Patreon. Support the channel. I'll say thank you in advance, guys. Till next time, be safe and uh, God bless. I'll see you out there.